Is this the best app for scientists and researchers? Maybe it is. SciSpace has got some excellent upgrades that you should know about. Now, when you head over to SciSpace, the first thing you'll notice is that it's nice and clean. They've cleaned up the interface. And if you go down here, it'll tell you everything that it does. Um, but ultimately, it is a really nice upgrade because it's got loads of other tools as well. The extra tools you'll see down here. We've got all the normal stuff that I've really loved in the past. And we've got this chat with PDF, which is uh, something, the co-pilot, which I've talked about in this video. Video, go check it out after this video, by the way. But essentially, it's this AI writer, find concepts, extract data, AI detector, PDF to video. There has been some crazy, awesome updates, and I want to show you what they are. The first one is this it is the AI writer. So when you click, you go to this. Now, you'll be very familiar with this sort of layout if you've used um, anything like Jenny.ai, but here we have it in SciSpace. Now, the thing about this is you can upload load your own documents to cite and also it has access to a load of references and you can cite them directly in this right. So when you first go on, obviously this is terrifying, a big blank page and you don't know what to write. So if you push forward slash, no not there, down here, forward slash, there we go, you will get all of the AI commands. And you got continue writing with citations, outline builder, write introduction, write conclusion, write opposing arguments, you've got all of these that you can choose from and some other stuff down here. But ultimately I want an outline first because there's no point starting with actual sort of paragraphs. You want to know where you're headed. So I always start when I'm writing with an outline. So I want an outline for solar cell material, um, uh, let's have a look. Um, nanoparticles. Oh my god, can it handle that horrible prompt? And it says AI is writing. Okay, so introduction to solar cell materials and their importance. A little bit clunky, but not too bad. Understanding nanoparticles, the role of nanoparticles in enhancing solar cell efficiency. That was very, very quick to generate. I like that you don't have to wait around too much. And now let's just see what happens if I try to write. Come on, let's get going. No? Okay, let's try something. Um, uh, oh, there we are. Look, this is just like Jenny. It took a while to think and I was about to say, oh no, what do we do? But here we are. You can see that it just um, starts to create content for you. So here we are. Solar cells are critical for harvesting. Blah, 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 blah. And if you want to accept it, boom. And then this is what I like. Highlight this and click, I think it's at, or maybe you just do an at at the end. And then you've got all these site. Oh no, that's a little bit user or horrible, isn't it? Maybe I can do it down here at they are this. Now we can actually see all of them. Suggestions created by me, my library, size says papers. So if I click here and I want to um, cite something, I click at or I can click this button up here, cite, and I want to see size space papers. Okay, yeah, great. Let's cite that one and boom, it should just sort of like automatically plop in, which it does. It's there and down the bottom you've got references. Does it get any easier than that? I'm not sure it does. Style, um, you've only got APA at the moment, but apparently they're expanding it out. So that is a limitation at the moment, but uh, it should be sort of like solved in the future. And you just keep on going. You can see here it spit out the next thing. Do I want to accept that? Oh no, I clicked on it. Now it's gone away. Let's just wait for it to come back. There we are. Yeah, I'll have that. So you can see that it's a nice way to not only structure, but obviously you've got to use your meat brain to make sure it's doing it again, that uh, all of this makes sense for your research field. So once you finish writing, all you have to do is go up here, export as docx, and you can put it into Word and do anything you would normally do with your Word document when you're writing. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. <laughs> that's lemons by the way, that's nothing gross. <laughs> Another thing you should know about that's updated in SciSpace is this, find concepts. So go deeper within research papers to extract insightful concepts. I will, let's have a look. Um, renewable energy trends for the next decade. Let's just click that and see what happens. Now, it will start doing all of these amazing things. When you've paid for it, you get high quality, but you also get standard searches. Oh, by the way, if you are using Writer, you only get 200 AI generated words before it sort of like stops and you have to wait for a bit of time. But when you've paid your hard earned money, you can actually just 
Keep on writing forever and ever and ever and ever and ever if that's what you want to do. So here we are. I've clicked here. We've got 26, 25 seconds left. No, don't lie to me. That was quicker than 25 seconds. And so up here, we've got insights from the top five concepts. And then we can also say I want the 10 actually. But this is a little summary that you can save to your notebook. You can see it's all references. And here are the concepts. So it's about understanding a research field and the important things that are inside that. So really great if you're entering a new research field or if you want to make sure you're in the leading edge of a research research field that you're currently in. So concepts, renewable energy sources, solar, photovoltaic energy, technology growth, declining wind, energy costs, wind power, cost reduction. So you can see it's all nicely labeled for you and you've got all and all of these concepts and it keeps on going. So these are ways of making sure you can dive deep into any research field based on the concepts. I really like it. You can save it to notebook and go and visit that later. So concepts, a really nice way to make sure that you are over the entire kind of breadth of your research field. Another thing they've included is this, an academic AI detector. So you can go here, you can catch any GPT-4, ChatGPT, Jasper, and any IA content um, that is in the scholarly, like scientific or non-scientific field. So all you have to do is paste in some content here, or you can upload a PDF. I've done my PDF scans. This is it here. It's one of my papers from years ago. And you can see here that it says that I am essentially human. That's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. I'm essentially human. That's good. So it's essentially human. The text is written almost entirely by a human with tiny to no AI assistance. This was written before AI even existed. I thought AI was always in the lab. That was the worst thing I've said on this channel. <laughs> Okay, AI detector by SciSpace. We'll do a deeper video, I think, on AI detectors in the future because they're, they're kind of like getting better and worse and the, the, the scene's just changing. So we'll save this for a deeper video later, but it is capable of detecting AI apparently. So go check it out for yourself and see if it helps you write in a non-AI way. And the last thing I want you to know about is this. It's called My Publications and it is the PDF to video. Now, one thing I like about this this is you can upload a PDF and then you can use that to sort of like tell the world about your research. Lovely, lovely. And so you go in and you upload your publications and then this is the favorite thing of mine. You can create an AI clone. I've got this AI clone assets. I created this clone just before recording this video and this is the sort of information it needs to create an AI clone of you. You need to make sure obviously the lighting's good, Ding, nice shiny head, pa, and the sound is good, which it wasn't in this because I just used my webcam. Um, and uh, yeah, you talk to the camera and it creates an AI clone. So here we are. There is a natural smile on my face. The lighting is good and my pronunciation is clear. Oh, there we are, easy peasy. So now apparently if you then upload a publication, it can create uh, slides and it can create a video to promote that work. Now here's the one thing is I uploaded this a while ago but the video is still sort of like ticking along in the background. It's not quite ready yet um, but you can see that it's also created slides for me and here are the slides. Silver blah blah blah, table of contents, introduction. This is actually very much improved on when I last looked at it. It really is able to grab all of the tables and the figures and it's got uh, you know a nice flow flow to it, which I really like. So this is a nice way to kind of work out the structure of a talk if you're not sure how to present a paper, if maybe you're presenting a paper to your research group. So this is a really great tool if you have a research paper and you wanna get it out into the world a little bit more effectively. You've got slides made for you, we've got videos eventually made for you, and at the end of this video, I'll put this video that it generates so you can see my AI clone. Ooh, Andy, Andy clone. Ooh, Andy, Andy clone. I am a researcher. I am a researcher. You get it. Today, we are thrilled to share our groundbreaking research on flexible and transparent materials that have the potential to transform the electronics industry. Our innovative electrodes, crafted from silver nanowires and carbon nanotubes, exhibit remarkable conductivity and light transmission. Our work on highly conductive and flexible electrodes opens new avenues in organic electronics. This progress could lead to greener technologies, reducing dependence on conventional materials and fostering innovation within the tech industry.
The detailed analysis of the interaction and morphology of silver nanowires and carbon nanotubes is crucial for understanding their potential applications. If you like this video, go check out this one where I talk about how to use SciSpace and Copilot in more detail. This is the foundation that this app is built on and it is incredible. Go check it out.